my Craig Jig 720, the Pro, that comes with some extra stuff. I finally got around to using it. I, I think it was February when I bought it. And I opened box, you know, I went through everything and all that, but I've been going to build this gate for out front. And finally got around to it today. So I've got the end pieces cut. Got those Craig jig and realized that I don't have the right size screws. So, outdoor screws. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and get everything drilled. It's a few more days until I get paid, so as soon as I get paid, I'll get the screws and finish it. Putting it together. I want to put it all together before I paint it. And I'll show it to you then love it i've had my small one um let me show you i think it's called the i think it's the 320 the 320 i've had this in for a couple years now it's what i did my other gate with that little white gate out there and it's, I knew that if I wanted to do very many um, pocket holes, which I do because I'm going to build all my bookshelves and cabinets and everything in the house with the Craig jig and put, I just think it's a real good way to put stuff together very simply without having the tools of the expertise to do like dovetails or you know finger joints somehow um, and I really don't have a shop set up yet I've just been you know digging through stuff still just to get projects going finished that I'm doing around here um, aren't my roses beautiful I need to get this gal in the ground Vegas. she's really putting out beautifully look at that oh my god I should have her already on tre the trellis this is a gal I don't know I went ahead and fertilized them yesterday with uh, that fishing motion that does good for them but these containers, I water them every day, and they're they're dry now. I mean, it's barely damp, damp in there. I've got to get them in the ground. I worked on out front. I guess I'll just walk over 